So today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing a budget makeover. Before I begin, I want to give credit where credit is due. I saw this video concept on the Story Girls here on YouTube's channel, YouTube's. Anyway, here's the video. I was just scrolling through YouTube one day. I saw the video, I watched it, it was awesome. And now I want to try my own take on that concept. So basically, if you have not heard of house shopping before, it's basically where you just use things that you already have. Also, the lighting is crazy right now. I'm a little too pale for it to comprehend. Are you new here? So basically, we are going to be revamping, making over, transforming my bathroom with only products that we already have. You are not allowed to go to the store. You are not allowed to shop online. It has to be everything that you already have in your house accessible to you. So if you don't have a paintbrush, gotta paint with a sponge or something like that. I have done a little looking around and I must say, I feel like I have a little bit of a leg up because I do shop for home decor, decorations, paint, that kind of thing quite often. So I should have some choices, but usually when I'm decorating a room, I will buy specifically for that room. So to not buy specifically and try and find stuff and make it work, I think it will be fun. And hopefully it encourages you guys to go take a look in your little craft drawers, in your old paint cans, and see if you can transform a room on a budget. So. The room we're going to be tackling today is this room right here, my bathroom. I will admit I have not given this bathroom the love and attention it may deserve. Other than I did paint the walls white, which I'm happy about because you know what? I'm sick of painting walls white. Like, you guys think you're sick? I'm sick of it too. So I've already got this base on. I'm thinking that I might do like a little feature over the toilet. I know that sounds weird, like a feature over the toilet, bring attention to your toilet. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. I will try it and you will see if it's good or not. And this mirror actually came with the house and I feel like it's not really an eye-catching mirror. It's nice and big though, which I really like, but I'm thinking that I might want to do like a little feature going up here too, separate from this one. And then this, this vanity needs a whole remodel in my opinion. I think we'll be pretty limited with what we can do for color wise on this because I'm pretty sure I only have one paint that is specifically for going over finished surfaces, but I'm gonna take a look. Right after I'm done showing you guys this, I'm going to clean it out, but then I'm going to do my house shopping. I know I have some stuff, and I can call it up in my mind, but I'm hoping there's some stuff secretly hiding that I've forgotten about. I don't know, we'll see. Here is my shower. If you guys have been following me for a while in my moving out series, you would have saw when I bought this curtain. I literally love this curtain, but honestly, I think we're gonna have to get something a little bit different. Hopeful that this will get used in a future video where it's just like a really almost tacky bathroom that's like bright yellow where these can really be the focus. I think that would be so funny. So yeah, this is the bathroom that we have to work with. We're gonna fix it up change it up, and it will cost us zero dollars. But in the past, it costed us money, but it didn't now. That's the catch. Past me, it costed her money, but we're not gonna talk about that. So yeah, let me do some much needed cleaning, and then we'll get house shopping. Are these eyebrows? I have my eyebrows. Well, not my eyebrows. Full eyebrows. I'm gonna just toss those. Okay, why does it already look so much better in here and all I did was take out my stuff? What does that have to say about me? Okay, so now I'm gonna run downstairs and I'm gonna see what I can find. I know I have like multiple sections of the house where I just squirrel things away. So let's go to section one. Okay, these paints I pulled out of my upstairs closet earlier because I've got some stuff in there for future videos that I don't want to spoil. But these are old paints. So this one, as you can see, the second of 2018. So this blue hasn't been used in a hot minute, but I feel like I could still use it. And I like that blue. We've got a peach color that I used for my old bedroom. This orange, which I'm instantly drawn to. And then what is this one? This is just a kind of like a gray color so already like paint won't be our problem you guys it won't be and right by the front entrance no joke I literally have this bucket of decor that I need to take to storage seriously you guys like when I said I have too much decor I meant it in this closet I have my stash 
as you can see, we have a stash. This is no joke in here. I just recently did this wallpaper, so I kept the wallpaper because a really fun life hack is taking old wallpaper and then framing it in other rooms because, you know, it makes like the nice inside of a picture, why not? All of these rows are all vinyl tiles. Those are as well. Seriously, okay, this is surprising, but not sponsored. I literally purchased this many because I just thought, you know, if I'm gonna be doing a bunch of room makeovers, these are really, really affordable. Well, in comparison to tile, of course. And they are always sold out, so I finally was on the website when they weren't sold out, so I stocked up. Just a bit. Over here we have some extra subway tiles from my kitchen backsplash. There's not very many in here, I think there's about 60, so I don't know if I'd be able to do anything of substance in the bathroom. And then I have my paint stuff. Oh, these were what I was thinking for the countertop. I bought these after watching someone else's video where they went over laminate with this and it looked so good. So I bought a white one, white and black, and then a black one. And I feel like that would be a good option for mine, except mine has texture. So I'm a little bit worried how that will look. Oh, ow. Okay, one bag and then another. What we got in here? Ooh, okay, vinyl tile grout. This is in pearl, and I think that I have one more. Yes, I have this one. I just recently used this one. This is in frost. So we have two tile grout options in case we tile. Oh, I have a shower curtain in here. Oh my gosh, this might be the only shower curtain that I actually have. So this might be, that might have to be it. I was actually worried about that, but I guess I squirreled it away in here. Put some spray paint in here, black, white, Pink. <laughs> Probably won't use that one. Ooh, I got gold spray paint in here. Looking pretty promising. Oh, this is the paint I was looking for. This is what I'm going to paint the cabinet with. This is fusion paint. It's supposed to be really good over finished surfaces so you don't have to sand them and everything. I used it on my parents' reno and I haven't used it since. So we're gonna put this thing to work. Now, I have a few more sections. I believe I have a stash all the way downstairs, so let me look. Okay, into the deep, dark basement. All right, we've got some gallons of paint here. Okay, so this is some more paint. Lots of these are from my Facebook Marketplace video I just did, like these little cans. These are quite nice colors. This is like such a nice green color. I totally forgot about this one. I bought two quarts to paint a cabinet I had and I ended up only using one, so I have this full quart right here. I've got some colors down here. If you saw my Facebook Marketplace video, you'll recognize these ones. Nice colors. And then of course I just have my wrap Raptor's Light White. Got about 15 gallons there. I use those ones all the time. This is gonna actually be more difficult to like pick a color than I thought. Okay, and then in these two Rubbermaids, I have just a bunch of decor. A little heavy for me. Oh, I'm not super worried about like decor and stuff just yet because I feel like I gotta figure out the paint color before I can worry about this. Ooh, we've got some fun candles. I remember I bought these for my grandma's thing and then I didn't end up using all of them, but they're very cool. Oh my gosh, my cat, my cat pothole hanger. Oh, these are hang, <gasps> this might be perfect. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Look at that hanging shelf. Okay, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. <sighs> I feel like I need a little Pinterest run. Basically, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't know how to execute it. So I'm just going to search and see if anybody has ever tried it before. I just had an amazing idea. Mom? What? I just had a good idea. What is it? I can't tell you. Oh. <laughs> Why, when you have a good idea, do I get worried? <laughs> I'm off! <laughs> Nobody can stop me! I had an idea! You guys, I had an idea. I don't want to tell you yet. <laughs> Sorry. Just know that it's a good one. <laughs> first things first, before I can even get into this, I have to paint this cabinet. So, I only have one paint. Well, you know, normal paint would work for this, but I feel like since I have the other one, I'm just gonna use the other one. So, drawers off. I thought that would be easier. 
Okay, there. Ew, this one's gross. This was probably Tate's drawer back in the day. You guys, I have yet to have an excuse to wear my paint suit since I bought it. So pretty excited to finally be wearing this baby. What do you think? Like it? Bet you don't. So did I not bring the paint up here? Oh my goodness. How many trips upstairs am I doing? Whilst I was away, I grabbed a dusting glove. I'm gonna dust these. The really cool thing, also not sponsored by Fusion Paint. I wish they would though, if you're watching this, please come on. The really cool thing about this paint is I used to spend so much time sanding all of my cabinetry also. Oh my gosh, please don't look in there. Okay, I'm just gonna open it that much because you don't want to see in there, trust me. Seriously, I'll show you for like half a second. Don't judge me. Well, it's been four seconds and I'm already covered in paint. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just got paint on the floor. done. I think it'll need two for sure and then the top coat. So now I gotta wait. While I wait though, I feel like I want to figure out the next thing I'm gonna do. I know, oh, I just stepped in paint. Okay. This mirror is really annoying me, so I want to see if I can get it down on my own. This mirror has probably been here since this place was built, so might be a little bit used to its house. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no. I don't know how this is attached. Like, why can I wiggle it like that? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! How heavy is this? Oh my gosh! Oh. That was crazy. Oh, I get why I was able to pull some of these out because some of them are just hanging. Whoever secured this mirror did it so well. Really good job. Okay, so I'm going to complete the second coat down here, but what I'm curious about now is I want to kind of do like a vinyl tile just because I have so much vinyl tile. Like why don't we do a little feature wall just from here up? Since this is the old color, as you can see, when we first moved in, so I didn't take the mirror off when I painted clearly, so why don't we take a vinyl tile from here all the way up? But which tile? That is the question. I just grabbed one of the vinyl tiles that I really like that could be a possibility for up behind. My only issue with this is if I use this one, the one shower curtain that I have doesn't really match the vibe. So I'd have to figure something out with this. But I remember downstairs there were some curtains that were kind of like a peachy beige. You know, we could just use a curtain as the shower curtain. I feel like we could do that, but let's see what this looks like. So it would be something like this all the way up. Just a bunch of these tiles just stack like so. Oh yeah, that would be cute. I just don't know if I have anything to match this, like literally anything. It makes me nervous. This orangey color makes me scared. I feel like I have to do this one. I just gotta make it work. Pondered for a minute, I took my paint stuff off, I had a drink of water, and I've decided this is the one. I just thought of some artwork that I bought like, I don't know, months ago, and it would work perfectly for this, and I haven't used it yet, so all the more reason. So, I was going to wait until tomorrow, but I am crazy, so I'm gonna do it now. So I wanna make sure this is lined up and then pressing it on. And now usually, when I put these on the floor, I grout them, but I almost feel like I want them to be like really close and touching, like one big wall without grout. I don't know, we'll see how it looks. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's the paint fumes, I'm not sure. Just make sure to give them a really big push. I've never put these on the wall before. <laughs> I'm gonna push it as close as I can. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. You guys, if we wouldn't have ever done this video, I never probably ever would have thought to put these on the walls. Oh my gosh, I'm 
Okay, now it's really easy to start getting crazy and stop paying attention while you do this. But trust me, do not lose your focus, you guys. Oh my gosh, look how that's looking. Once we have this countertop done, this is all gonna tie together so well. This is drying right now, and like, you guys, guys. Oh, okay, this is always where it gets a little bit more difficult. cuts later I got it. Oh, sweating. Oh my gosh, it would be so amazing if this one would fit with that cut. Come on. Oh my gosh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna call that good. Oh my goodness, okay you guys, doing this has like elongated this room, like it really brings your eyes up. I just have the cuts to do on this side, but then it's done. I literally, literally love it. So let me finish it. Okay, here it is. Finish this whole wall and also put the top coat on the vanity. So here we go. Look at how much better that looks. Like it really brings your eyes up. But now what's sticking out a lot is the countertop. So I think I'm gonna get started on this, but first I was looking around yesterday and I found something I think I could use for this, for the curtain. So I'm gonna grab it. It's literally just a gray curtain. It'll definitely need like a liner on the inside, but I've had this forever. So I'm going to put this up. I'm gonna use the same rings that I already have because I feel like that'll look good. You know, we've got grays going on in here. Thank you. We have two panels, so I think I'm gonna have to do two panels. It's kind of funny because like it is just a curtain. Maybe eventually I'll get a plastic inside for it. I feel so sad to be parting with my duck. Goodbye for now, but not forever. Oh my gosh, okay, I think it worked really good actually. <laughs> I like how there's two panels so you can open it halfway. It makes it seem more luxurious oh okay now we're gonna tackle this countertop i've never used this stuff before i bought three of them like so long ago i'm leaning towards this lighter one i kind of like i'm so nervous because seriously jobs like this are not my forte like lining it up having to be very precise isn't really my strong suit but you know i'll try i think it will really transform in here once i have that done so Wish me luck. Let's see what this is all about. I don't know if I'll be able to do it in one cut or if I'll need a few cuts. I really am not sure. Also, my countertop is a little bit grainy, like it's not flat completely, so I feel like that will be a bit of an issue as well. I really don't know how this will go. This will be like as much of a surprise for you as it is for me. Oh wow, it's wide. I must have got a really wide one. Oh, because I probably had the intent to. Let's see, I'm nervous. There's so many angles to this counter. Like if this was in here, this would be so much easier. Just gonna try it. You know, what could go wrong? Okay, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. You just gotta keep pushing everything out. And I feel like the texture actually isn't a problem. It's looking kind of cute, actually. I'm impressed with how it's looking. My corners are a little bit rough, but I'm hoping that they clean up a little when I put silicone. We'll see. Okay, one half done, one half to go. I initially didn't want to have to cut it, but I feel like around the sink it was just too difficult. And especially when I get into this corner, I know it's gonna be difficult. So yeah, I had to do it, but it's looking really good. Like seriously, this looks nice. I mean, a lot better in my opinion, so. Okay, you guys, I am so hopeful that I have silicone and also a giant plant to hide some of my mistakes. It's done, and honestly, if you just look at this side, it's not bad. 
But then when you get over to this corner, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to find like a big plant for right here. But right now, my hunt is for silicone. So let's see if I have any, cause there's lots of little gaps right here that I need to fill. Yeah, this whole corner. It was difficult. Honestly though, I can say that I think this stuff would be really good if you're just doing like a countertop. If it's got any of this detailing on the back, might be a little bit bigger of a job, but it's doable. I mean, I did it, right? That should say something. So I'm on the hunt for silicone. Ooh, okay, wait, is this quick seal adhesive caulking waterproof? This should be good enough. Okay, you guys, this is gonna be the power of silicone. Look at all these edges, they're going to disappear. There we go, see? No holes, that just makes it look so much better. Also, yes, got it all over my fingers. Now I'm just going to do all the edges. Okay, you guys, the vanity area is complete. Oh my goodness, that was so difficult. Like honestly, I'm not even gonna play that off like that was no work. That was difficult. It looks good though, I just hope it lasts. You know what I mean? Cause it's pretty sticky. I don't know, I guess only time will tell. I'll update you guys. Okay, I was just zooming around and I found this paint and also this is the artwork that I'm kind of thinking of now. I got it for something else a month ago or so. But now I'm feeling like it goes in here. I don't know. I feel like it's got the bright airy vibe. These I got so long ago, probably over a year ago. And I was thinking one hanging above the toilet might be cute. But now I thought I'd be done painting. But now I have this idea of like a feature, but I don't know if it should be over top of this or over top of this. And I don't know if it should be this blue or a different blue. So I was just running around gathering things. Now I have a big decision because I don't know which blue I should use, this blue or this one. This one's from my Facebook Marketplace video. But just like this video sponsored by the Story Girls, or <laughs> sponsored, inspired by the Story Girls, they did sponsor this video, obviously. In the video I watched, she did like this little thing over top of the mirror. And I really like the way it looks. I'm trying to figure out if I want it here if I want it here. I kind of feel like framing the toilet might be fun. <laughs> and then I'd have the shelf over top. That might be cute. I'm gonna do it. I should be able to do it. You just take the string, half circle, boop like that. Tie the end to my pencil. Oh gosh, okay. I think it's freaking adorable. And then I'm just going to take from the edges. I'm imagining this feature will not take in that long. So I feel like I already have the wrong idea. Guys, I feel like I've seen a lot of people do this type of wall art like over their bed or like something really cute like that. And then I'm just like putting it over my toilet. This paint is noticeably from 2018. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. It's like literally like a paste. Wow, it's so thick. Said no one about me ever. Be all the painting I do. Woo! Oh my gosh, it looks great! I think it's really, really fun! Yes, I like it. Now it's just gonna dry. So I stole the mirror from right here, but I have a mirror in mind. Look at this mess I've made. <laughs> it's so nice and clean in there, but the truth of it all. So initially I had this mirror in mind. I took this out of my old bathroom and I've just been holding it for a future video, but I measured it, it's too big. So then I saw this mirror and it's actually hanging up in my dining room. I use it, but I thought I might steal this one and then replace it with that one and then I'll put that one up in the bathroom. Now this is the epitome of shopping your house because I'm literally taking something that I'm actually using. And this is a really heavy mirror so I hope I can brace this good enough. I'm trying to figure out should it go vertically or horizontally. That is cute. But how cute is this? What do you think?
You guys, I was just on the hunt of my life to try and find the extra hardware that I had for the kitchen cabinetry, and I found them. And I only had a few, so thank freaking goodness, because otherwise I literally would have no hardware for here. So here they are. I was gonna maybe spray paint them black, but now I feel like the black would be too dark. And since the faucet's silver, I think I'll leave them, so I'm gonna screw these on. And this is also silver, so I think it works. Whew. That only took an eternity for no reason. There we go, you guys, the finished vanity look. I think it looks a lot better than before. So now I'm gonna do some hanging. Gonna hang this mirror, gonna hang that shelf, gonna hang this. Gonna hang, gonna hang, gonna hang. Okay, you guys, so it looks like everything is done and coming together, but huge part to do still, the decor, which I'm so excited for because I literally wanna hide this corner so badly. We need a big plant right there. We need some stuff from the shelves. We need a mat. Hopefully there's some stuff that I can find. You guys know I'm constantly shopping for decor and then I just store it all, so I'm gonna go over to the storage unit and this is where you guys are gonna see my, uh, Hoarder tendencies. Let's go. At storage. But in my defense, you guys, this isn't just mine. I share with my parents, but that probably doesn't help that much. So I have a lot of decor to choose from. This is what I was talking about when I said I might have a bit of an upper hand on finding stuff. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a look. So I need something big to block the terrible job I did. Ooh, this might look good. This used to be in my bedroom before I did it up. I got all this stuff way long ago, back when it was the semi-annual sale, probably like two years ago. Boardwalk vanilla cone. See, this is the kind of stuff that you forget you have. But I have a bunch of candles down here, so I think I should grab a candle to decorate with. This one's kind of cute. Okay and take these. New soap, new candle. Okay, I think I have everything I need now to actually decorate. Here's everything. I'll start out by putting out this mat, which I'm so excited for. Sometimes when I'm out, I'll just buy something if I really like it, even if I have nowhere to put it. And then it pays off sometimes, because this goes with that. A upgraded towel. I kind of wish I would have had like a colored towel to add, but I honestly don't have any colored towels right now. So white will have to do. Whoa, that would be kind of cool right there. Oh my gosh, if this fell and broke, I'd be so upset. You guys, I literally got this seashell when I was like so young when we were in Mexico and I have carried it through every house move we've ever done. And like seriously, the only chip there is on it is the back, which I feel like is pretty good for like an eight-year-old packing stuff. This has been with me a while. I love this thing. You need something big for in this corner because I made lots of mistakes. A little vanilla cone. Is that too many things? You really distract them from my bad workmanship. You guys, we're up close and personal right now because behind me is the zero dollars, not really actual money, but past me as money. So basically zero dollars for me right now. Big makeover. <laughs> So unbelievably happy with how everything turned out. Like even with the mistakes on this countertop, I feel like it looks so much better. And this tile going up the wall is such, I can't say like a good idea because like it was my idea, but like I love the way it looks. And seriously, when you're standing in here, it makes you really realize how high up the ceilings are, which is nothing like I've ever done. I've never came in here and been like, oh, the ceilings are really high. I'm really super happy I decided to paint this little feature wall. I feel like it really finished everything off and brought in the colors of these pictures. I'm thanking past Mia for buying these pictures. I remember the day I bought these and I remember not being sure about it. So I'm happy that I did in fact get these babies. And then this, the shower curtain that all the water would come out, but 
We don't have to talk about that. Okay, guys, so this is the finished $0 makeover. It sounds so funny saying that because, like, it wasn't $0, but you know what I mean. I shopped my house, okay? Everything I already had before I even knew I was going to be doing this video. So, I think it's a success. I'm so happy to finally have this bathroom finished. I love the way it looks. And I really like this concept. I totally encourage you guys to try this out because I feel like we get used to the things we have around us and then we always just look to get new stuff when really a lot of the things in front of you, you can change up a little bit and make them more your style, refinish them, add new hardware, paint it. Like painting things is like the answer to most things, okay? But yeah, I'm rambling on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more budget makeovers, let me know down below so I can continue to do them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!